Thank you. Well, yeah, no, uh, first of all, welcome to Montreal. Uh, you, you've been in Montreal for uh, quite a few days now. We've seen you around newspapers and uh, all kinds of media. Uh, how has been your journey so far? So far, busy, I must say. Because, uh, <laughs> I have been here on Sunday and I've been uh, promoting my wine business uh, so far every day. Well, it was good because I met a lot of people, a lot of uh, wine tasting. And uh, actually, I've had a bit of a uh, free time yesterday and today at the track because when I'm driving the car, it's the best time for me. <laughs> uh, talk, talking about the track today, you, you were, uh, those were your first day on the track, uh, your first time on the track. Um, how did it go today? Actually, today was a bit uh, wet and slippery, so we had a bit of work uh, to do. Um, We've seen a lot of drivers anyway fighting with the car, spinning out, and uh, uh, it was a tricky one. Um, at the beginning it was wet, so we used intermediate drives, trying to set it up the car and get a bit of a feeling. Uh, afterwards, uh, the track dried up, so we put on dry tires and start our routine work, which is all about setup and uh, trying to understand between the two optional tires, the soft and the hard, which one is the way to go. So we, we have done not much, uh, as much as we wanted, but we have, we have done enough to get a, a, an idea of, of what the circuit is like and uh, how the car is feeling. You, you mentioned it was wet in the first session. I'm sure most of the people here tonight were, were at the track this morning. They certainly noticed the two Toyota drivers certainly driving and doing a lot of laps this morning. Uh, contrary to the, 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 the many other teams who basically sat in and waited till the track dried up. Um, the interesting thing, I was wondering about this, you were the only ones trying to keep driving while the track was drying up. Is that something you, you were doing to learn in case it rains someday and the, start, the track starts starting to dry up so you know when the, the proper time is to switch to dry weather tires? No, the other team just paid us to dry up the track. <laughs> <laughs> We were, you know, we were out there just to get an idea in case we get some wet track, whether it is tomorrow or Sunday, to collect the data uh, and obviously to understand the crossover point, the switching point between uh, wet and dry tires. Montreal by its nature, it's a semi-permanent track, it's only being used three times a year. Every year we hear the same story in the sense that uh, the track is really, really slippery when the weekend starts. Today, to make matters yeah. worse, it was wet. And on top of that, this is the first time you come to Montreal in many, many years without driver's aid. Uh, we saw a lot of skidding, a lot of sliding, a lot of, a lot of nice slides and car control. Uh, how difficult it is to drive these cars, especially for Montreal set up with a low down force. Uh, uh, how difficult was it to drive the cars? Well, um, typically in Montreal it's quite slippery because it's a street uh, circuit, so it's not been used for so long. So we get here and we start fighting a lot with the car, with the tires, to get the tires in temperature. We have low down force because of the long straight and the high speed, so basically we have all these conditions which makes uh, you know, driving, driving life very hard in a cockpit. Um, but then, you know, eventually the track developed and you have to follow the track development. Uh, and then you have to set up the car as well. So all these things uh, require a bit of experience, time, and a lot, a lot of work. Because in a way we collect the data and we try to understand what has gone on during the day. And uh, we try to figure out what's, what's the area we can improve in order to go quicker. You're talking about improving the car. Toyota has been in Formula 1 for quite a few years now. You have been with Toyota, if I'm not mistaken, for your third season. Um, this fourth season, there you are. Uh, so uh, what I've noticed this year, especially at the start of the year, is Toyota seems to have made a big jump. Uh, in, in winter testing, towards the end of winter testing, you started going faster and faster, and everybody thought it was maybe, you know, maybe a bit of a bluff, but you showed up in Australia and you guys were you know, and made it quite an improvement. What may, what may, how does that happen in Formula 1 to go from 7th or 8th seat team to move up to be the 4th or 15th in Formula 1? Uh, Formula 1 is a tricky business. Unfortunately, you know, you got several teams, few, two, maximum three teams, which 
they know what to do and they have uh, all, all they, they need to, to produce a, a very quick car and you know they were in a different championship the rest were just trying to catch up and follow up their improvement Formula 1 is uh, you know, the peak of the motorsport because it's a constant improvement day by day the improvement mostly comes every year when there is you know, the switch between the old car, old season and new season. So basically winter time, you know, people working hard in the wind tunnel, trying to catch up and get more number, 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 more downfall in order to produce a quicker car. If not, sometimes uh, doesn't happen or the expectations are sometimes are high, higher than uh, what that is the reality. And in the end, you only found out once you hit the track. Because I always say that when, you know, everything is quiet in, this, in, in December, for example, or beginning of January, we don't test, we don't race, we don't do anything. And you can talk to anyone. And at that stage, anyone feels they are going to win the championship. <laughs> Unfortunately, the truth is that once we start testing and we hit the track, then quite quickly we have uh, you know, a picture of the situation. Toyota from 2007 to 2008 has designed and produced a brand new car, which effectively has made a good step forward in, in all areas, aerodynamic, engine, handling, uh, everything. And so the first part of the season, I must say the first three races, they were great. You know, I was fighting always for top six, seven. I was there, you know, part of Ferrari and McLaren and BMW. The problem is that uh, the development more 